Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a problem from one of my subscribers and here is a problem if a fragment of double-stranded DNA has 135 hydrogen bonds and we know that it contains 23 guanian bases, what is the total length of this fragment? And uh, before I will explain you how to solve this problem, I want to show you how to solve this problem uh, in simplified version, so I would draw a picture for you and then we would solve this problem using just mathematical uh, method without uh, drawing any pictures. As you know, cytosine always base pairs with guanine and thymine always base pairs with adenine. And cytosine and guanine has triple bond and thymine and adenine has double bond. And I have a good hint for you, mnemonic technique, how to memorize which base pairs has a triple bond and which has a double bond. If you would take a look, you would see that cytosine looks similar to uh, guanine, so C looks similar to G. So it's like relatives, so this um, base pairs has triple bond. And these two letters doesn't uh, look similar, and that's why they have double bond. So this is just a mnemonic technique for you to uh, memorize which basis has uh, triple bond and double bond. And uh, now we can solve a simplified problem. So let's say uh, that we have total number of base pairs uh, 13 instead of 135. And we have three guanine bases on our fragment. So let's draw, let me draw this fragment. So guanine, guanine, guanine here. We know that we have three guanine bases. And uh, this also would give us instant information that on the other strand of the DNA we would have uh, cytosines in the same positions. And we also would know that uh, this basis has triple bond. And if a total number of uh, bonds in hydrogen bonds in this fragment would be 13 minus this 9, we know that four bases, um, four hydrogen bonds left. And uh, this basis here cannot be neither guanine nor uh, cytosine. So only it can be thymine and adenine. We can put for example thymine and thymine here and adenine and adenine here. And this basis would have a double bond. So as you see now we solved our problem. We have uh, 13 hydrogen bonds and this fragment would be one two, three, four, five base pairs long. And uh, now let me demonstrate that uh, position or sequence of the uh, DNA, double-stranded DNA, wouldn't affect uh, our calculations. One more time. The same simplified problem with 13 hydrogen bonds and three guanines, but this time uh, let's say that here we have guanine, then we have guanine here, and have guanine here. It doesn't uh, affect our calculations. Here we would have cytosine, cytosine here, and cytosine here. Once again, this base pairs would have triple bond, triple hydrogen bond, and if we, for example, would put thymine this time here and adenine here. We would have adenine here and thymine here. Once again, this base pairs would have double bond. So as you see, those sequence here and here different, but still this fragment has three guanines. This also means three cytosines, uh, 13 minus 9 would give us 4, and that give us uh, information that we have two more base pairs, and total number 
also would be the same. Five base pairs uh, in this fragment. So now let's return to our original problem with 135 hydrogen bonds and 23 guanine bases. So when we know that we have 23 guanine bases, we instantly know that these 23 guanines would base pairs with 23 cytosines. So we would have 23 uh, triple bonds between guanine and cytosine. So we have to multiply 23 by 3. And uh, the answer would be that uh, 23 guanines or we also can say guanine cytosine um, base pairs would give us um, 69 hydrogen bonds. And when we know the total number of hydrogen bonds in this fragment is 135 hydrogen bonds, so uh, from this number 135 we have to deduct 60 nine and uh, the answer would be 66 hydrogen bonds left for these two base pairs so because uh, xymine and adenine uh, have double bond we have to divide 66 hydrogen bonds by two and we would find total number of xymine adenine base pairs and this is going to be 33 and this is going to be xymine adenine uh, base pairs number of xymine adenine uh, base pairs and here we have um, 23 cytosine and guanine uh, base pairs so now we left with uh, only one step. Total uh, number of bases in this fragment would be 23 cytosine and guanine bases. We can put a triple bond here plus 33 uh, base pairs, that is xymine adenine we can put a double bond here and the answer would be 56 total number of uh, base pairs uh, this is going to be our answer that length of the fragment is 56 base pairs 23 of them uh, cytosine guanine uh, base pairs that have a triple bond so this is going to be 69 uh, hydrogen bonds here plus 33 base pairs that make double bond this is 66 hydrogen bonds so 66 and when we add number of hydrogen bonds here uh, we are going to get 135 and this is exactly what we have uh, in our problem so this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye